So how do you tighten up loose carpet that's just falling apart on you? In this video, I'm gonna break it down. What's good, it's Carpet Mike here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com and yes, in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to tighten up loose carpet to get a lot more life out of it and it only takes a few simple tools to get this done. So I'm using a crab stretcher right now and the story behind this crab stretcher is it was mine for a million years. My little brother took it from me. I got it back from him the other day. That's why if you've seen my videos in the past, I'm always using that raggedy one. This is mine as well. Just got it back into circulation. The crab stretcher costs a few hundred dollars so if you're a DIY person, don't worry. We're going to share with you other ways you can get this done. But we are going to latch this crab stretcher onto the tag strip and we're going to pull all that slack across the room. Next, I got my knee kicker here. We're going to make sure the teeth on that kicker is nice and clean. And now that we've pulled all that slack up to the tack strip, we're going to take that. We're just going to blast that carpet right onto the tack strips there, getting it locked into place. And once that's secured and we've pulled all the slack up for that section, we're going to pop that crab stretcher up, slide it down, and pull a little bit more slack up. Now, on this one, we pulled so much slack, we did have to break the doorway seam. And I did not catch a video of that, unfortunately. Don't worry. There's plenty more to come. We'll get that covered here. But we're going to slide it down roughly every three-ish feet on the tack strip that's been reinforced with sinker nails so we know it's not going to pull out. And then we're just going to ease that crank down. And you see that bubble forming behind it's just pulling out all that slack for me. Doing all the hard work, but it's all about finesse. You got to take your time pulling all that slack out there. And when, once we went ahead and pulled all that slack up to the wall, once again, we're just going to grab the knee kicker. We're going to blast that right up to it, lock it into place, and continue continue working ourselves down that room there. Now this particular restretch consisted of three rooms. We've got paid $225 to take care of this here. But if you're the DIY person and you want to go ahead and get yourself some tools in the meantime and take on a project like this yourself, like I said, the crab stretcher that you don't necessarily need will cost you a few hundred bucks there. You can find them used for much less. And then the knee kicker is less than $100. After that, you're just going to need a knife, very cheap, $10, and a linoleum knife under $5. You're set. You got all the tools you need. You're in business if you want to get a side hustle going. Plenty of videos sharing exactly how to go ahead and do carpet repairs and restretching for a profit on this channel as well. But yeah, real simple here. You see me working my way down the wall. Just nice, consistent finesse. Move the crab stretcher down three feet at a time. Take your kicker, keep it about two inches away from the baseboard there, but when you're kicking, so when you kick it up, it pushes the carpet directly under the tack strip, locks it into place for you, and then you just have to crease and trim and tuck when it's all said and done. That's it. And don't forget your tripod. That's why we got this really low, low angle here. No tripod on this deal. Just lean up against the shelf, get that stretching done, create a video, never make an excuse for not getting the job done, and continue moving forward. So, where we got here? There we go. Now we're back in business. Watch it. See how I put my knee on the front? We're going to go ahead and use that so we don't rake the carpet. Put a little pressure on the front. Finesse it down. All the slack goes across the room. See all that? All right. Good, good, good. Glad you see that. Now we're going to go ahead and take the kicker. Kick it up. Tap, tap, tap. Everything's good. Lock it onto the strip. And once you get to the door, we're going to trim and tuck. So, I wish I could stretch this out some more, but let's be real. This is all there is to it. Super basic scenarios here. And once again, we have videos in the playlist showing you anything and everything about the carpet and flooring industry. So if you have any questions, comment below, and I'll see you on the next video.